はいはいはーいはいはいはい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、Traveling and cooking for other people. Now I'm done, or it's on pause for right now. So here I am again with another video. And today I'm gonna do a requested video from my third oldest sister, Rochelle. This is for her. She wanted me to do a pot roast on top of the stove. So that's what I'm gonna do. And y'all saw my ingredients. This is a three pound、um, chuck roast that I got. And it's got this brown salt, like this brown liquid on it. It's not from the meat, it's actually some of a sauce, and I'm gonna show you. But if you don't have that seasoning sauce, you don't have to use that. You can use Worcestershire sauce, you can use soy sauce,、um, yeah, Worcestershire sauce or soy sauce. And I used about three tablespoons on it, and I let that sit for about an hour. So, we got that, and then we got some potatoes and carrots. We got some bell pepper and onion. We got some bay leaves. We got rosemary, garlic powder, pepper, fresh, fresh cracked pepper. I'm gonna put on it. Some Lowry's, some paprika, some sage, and I got some flour. First, what we're gonna do is we're gonna season the meat first. And we're gonna start with. And I didn't wash my hands already, so y'all don't need to see me do that. But anyway, how y'all been? What y'all been up to? How have y'all been doing during this pandemic? So we got that. Got the garlic powder. I've still been working. Of course. Work, work, work. Probably should open these up before I started filming. So we got the garlic powder as much as you want. Because it's your plate, not mine. Age, not too much sage, just a little bit, just a few dabs on each side. Some paprika, give it some good color. Because what we're going to do, we're going to season this first, and then we're going to flour it, and then we're going to get it nice and dark brown on the stove in our pot that we're going to cook it in. Then we're going to cook it. Once it's nice and dark and brown, so it can give us a color that we want. We got our seasoned salt. And I'm gonna say at least do a teaspoon of each. At least a teaspoon. Salt and pepper is not always the only answer, okay? Seasoned salt. And you're not gonna see me put salt in this until towards the end, once the vegetables have cooked. Just to make sure we're not over salting. And then we got our black pepper. I always try to use fresh peppercorns because that、um, that powder stuff don't be don't be about the right to me. A teaspoon of that, and then we're gonna flip this thing over. And we're gonna do the exact same thing to the other side. And you want your meat to be at room temperature so it don't take forever to start cooking. So, 
take it out at least an hour before you're about to cook it. You can use any kind of seasoned salt or like a Badia complete seasoning, which is what I usually like to use. And then we got our garlic powder. Paprika. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this three tablespoons of flour and I'm gonna flour both sides before I set it in that pot of grease over there. And I'll got about a quarter of a cup of canola oil in the pan heating up. Just go ahead and pat it on up in there. You're going to flip her over. Do the other side. Ha! And to my cousin Shani, I'm using a real plate today. I'm using real dishes today. This is a glass bowl. <laughs> All right, we got that good in there. So we're going to take this over to our pot. Okay, y'all, we got our pot right here. And you see this oil is popping right here. It's smoking. So first, actually what we're going to do is that we're going to season this oil with our onions and peppers that we got right here. So go ahead and drop that. You want your oil hot, hot. And when you cut your bell peppers and onions, you want them around the same size so that they can cook evenly. And you just wanted to saute these a little bit. All right. Just sit there for a minute until it get about translucent. Y'all see how nice and brown that's starting to get right there? That's what you want. The right one to get you some color on there. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take 
these vegetables and set them to the side so they don't burn. And now you got you some good old seasoned oil to put your meat in. And then once you get that meat browned on both sides, what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw them onions and bell peppers back up on there. We're gonna add about four or four to six cups of water. And we're gonna let that thing go for about an hour, hour and a half. So we're gonna take our meat. And if you gotta wait for your pan to heat back up, do that. All right? So we're gonna take our meat, set it on up in there. And don't touch it, don't be moving around, let it sit. Let it do its thing, you know? Like when you sit in the sun, you know, you just sit there on both sides, you know, till you get the same color on both sides, you know, let it, let it just sit there. Yeah, this is the color that you want right here. This is the color that you want. You don't want no gray meat. You want nice brown, dark, close to black. Black is better than gray to me, you know, more flavor, deeper flavor. So now our meat is good and brown. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add about three more tablespoons and you can use Berkshire sauce or soy sauce, but I'm using the sauce that I showed y'all before. Back in that to your meat. You wanna put your onions on there, onions and bell peppers back on there. All right. And then you wanna take your four to six cups of water and you don't have to use water, you can use vegetable broth or you can use beef broth, I'm just using water because I'm a pro like that. Then you pour that on there. Turn your heat down from high and ours has like, the, it goes up to um, high, eight, seven, six, medium. So I'm gonna put it on four and I'm gonna let that go for about an hour, hour and a half until it starts to fall apart. And then once it gets to about an hour, you wanna put your potatoes and carrots in there and let it go for another 15 minutes. And for me, I'm gonna add a little bit more cracked black pepper in mine. Or a lot of bit more. With the pinky up and all. <laughs> all right, that's like that. And we're gonna let that go. I'm gonna be back. Hey everybody, this is Paul. Say hi, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. Y'all see how this roasting got nice and tender and it's falling apart. Getting ready to fall apart. It's been in for an hour. In about 45 minutes actually see and the fork goes straight up in there straight in there so what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your potatoes your potatoes and your carrots That's your potatoes and your carrots. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna season them with a little bit more garlic powder. A 
little bit more seasoned salt, about a tablespoon. And y'all, I already tasted the juices from this um, meat and it actually tastes pretty good. Didn't need to add too much more salt. That's why I said don't add any salt until the end. A little bit more paprika. I'm gonna toss that around. Y'all like how I do that one handed. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring it over here and put it all up in here with your roast. And now that we have the potatoes and the carrots in here, we're gonna let this go for about another 20 to 30 minutes and I will show y'all the finished product. Y'all see how scrumptious it came out looking? Look at that, look at that. Falling apart. That's what you want. That's what you want. So I actually let this cook, I actually let this cook for about two hours before I put the potatoes and carrots in. And don't forget to put, I put two bay leaves in here when I first put the meat on the stove. So don't forget your two bay leaves. So I let it cook for two hours. And after two hours, I put my potatoes and my carrots and I let that go for about 15 minutes. And this is what you got. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get my cell phone together and get y'all the plate, plate this up and show y'all what this look like. What's up y'all? This roast is ready. Like I said, I cooked it for two hours. First, with just the meat and the other ingredients, plus the two bay leaves. Let that go for two hours. After two hours was over, dumped the potatoes and carrots on up in there. And even look, you can see here, like it even made a song like thickening, like the potato, the starch from potatoes and the carrots and made like a good little, a good little gravy for it, y'all. So I'm gonna plate this up. This right here is just some rice and peas that I had left over from another dinner that I did. Like this, I'm big like this, but not like this, all right? You know, I, I got a little bitty stomach, so this is just a little bitty plate for, for me. But I'm gonna bring this on in and let y'all see the fullness and the goodness. Oh, taste and see. Oh, taste and see, y'all see it. Y'all see it, y'all see it, y'all see it. Y'all see that little gravy that it didn't made with the juices and the starches. Yeah. All right, I wanna thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for tuning in. And y'all know I'm trying to get up to that 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. So if you can, you can do three things for me, like, Share and subscribe. Share on every social media platform you got. Make the recipe. Send me the videos or the pictures of you making a recipe so I can post it on my on my page so I can show other people. The other people are actually doing my recipes. Um, I'm working on a few more videos. I got a lot of them coming back to back to back to back to back just to keep y'all entertained and to keep y'all informed. All right, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment below. What would you add to it? What would you take away from it? What you think could be done better? All right, thank you for tuning in. This is Mr. Coffee's Table 